one of the most valuable things about the mistaken point seafloors is that not only do we know that they're very deep, and we know that because there's absolutely no evidence that waves could ever touch that bottom. In fact, there are sedimentary structures we call turbidites. And turbidites involve mass flows from shallow water into deep water, a little like we're suggesting here, but on a much grander scale. So in Newfoundland, at the Mistaken Point site, we see kilometres of thickness of volcanic debris that's cascaded down a very steep um, ocean shelf into deeper water. Uh, we see no ripple marks. We see no cross bedding. All of the things that sedimentary geologists look for to identify shallow water, wave action and so on. Then you would expect that maybe a lot of the organisms came with the sediment. They maybe they lived in shallow water and were dragged into deeper water. But here's where it's important because you have these fronds called charnia discus, which have holdfasts, stalks, and the frond preserved all on the same layer. And guess what? They're always lined up. So the, the holdfast, if it was not stuck to the seafloor, would mean that they'd just tumble over each other and be twisted and mangled. And we don't find that. We find them clearly anchored to the seafloor. And you can't be anchored to the seafloor and washed in at the same time. 